For 72 hours, 25-year-old Jermaine Spruer was held captive, according to police tied up with guns pointed at him as officers scoured the city to find him. Well, on Saturday, he was found on the shoreline near the Shawnee boat ramp, dead. Officials say they believe he was killed. We've heard of things of this nature happening to other families, and it's like, this is a rare scenario. This could never happen to me. Less than 24 hours after her first cousin's body was found, Tawana Harrison returned to her home in Milwaukee confused with more unanswered questions than she had when driving to Louisville. It's definitely something that um, you can't put into words or wish upon any other family. She says it feels like a movie. She still can't believe the cousin that would do anything to help anyone was left for dead miles away from his home. He was a local rapper, and there's a certain image that people stereotype about him. He was the most loving individual. He was a vibrant energy. You would never see a frown on his face. It's an incident that comes on the heels of an unprecedented year of crime. Spruer makes more than 140 homicides this year in the Metro. It's why Councilwoman Donna Purvis says she has plans of working with city leaders and LMPD to make sure something like this doesn't happen again in the future. I just don't want the community to think that uh, what has been happening throughout the city the entire year it is something that's that should be normal. We should not be comfortable in, in, in accepting it as been the norm. As police continue to investigate the incident, Harrison is urging people who know something to come forward and help her and her family get justice. Enough is enough. I want my cousin's um, situation to be an example. Lives shouldn't be taken at the hand of a gun and then other lives to be taken to prison for the rest of them, their, their lives. There's lives lost on each end for unnecessary crimes. Minaj Kungwari, WLKY News.